Yes, legendary cricket commentator Richie Benno once said that from our broadcasting box you can't see any grass at all. It's simply a carpet of humanity. Well, few broadcasters have acutely tuned into that fact as our very own Robert Hall. In his 37 years on RT Racing, he has simply transcended our sport. And today, he calls time on an outstanding career. His velvet voice and dulcet tones delivered well-chosen words with tremendous empathy. A true master with a microphone, his compassion and love for all equine sport always shone true. Robert, I know I speak for everybody here and throughout Ireland and beyond. Thank you for the multitude of magic memories. We wish you well. Hello and welcome to the Curra for the big one, the 19th running of the Budweiser sponsored Irish Derby. Hello and welcome to sunny Leopardstown for what can conservatively be termed a special day's racing. It's Guinness Galway Hurdle Day and we must all find a winner. But hey, it's Ladies' Day. <laughs> Roberts, I suppose as long as I'm watching wrestling TV, has always been the presenter. Throughout Ireland and beyond, the name Robert Hall is revered as a man knowledgeable, respected. If you could use one phrase to describe Robert Hall, unflappable. I grew up watching Robert Hall. He was the voice of Irish racing for me. So Robert was unique in the sense that he had a great knowledge of a, of a good few sports, but he had a great passion for racing. Robert, what do you think of the Irish chances? Well, I think that the first horse you've got to start with is probably Grease Paint because he's done nothing wrong. He's been second twice and he was beaten by the ground last year when he finished fourth. And if the ground's right for him on Saturday, you know, he's one that they're all going to have to beat. I'm still down for three days. Horses, three days for trying too hard. Mark differently, don't they? Yes. You reckon that he's a light skinned horse? He's one of the ones should mark. Christy Roach, confused and angry, I think. Willie, 10 out of 10, what a horse. Ah, fantastic. I mean, did it the hard way today. You're trying not to get a kick there, Robert. Robert's always fantastic. Uh, his knowledge of racing, his knowledge of breeding. Um, you know, he'd been he's straight up every day, called it as it is. Um, always been a good foil for Ted Walsh. The two of them are a great pair on TV. I wouldn't have been much good at anything else, so I don't know what it'd be. Priest! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've been a good priest, all right. <laughs> I'd hate to have you in my parish, that's for sure. Paul, what a day for you. That must be the biggest success of your career. It definitely is, and it's great that I wrote it for my father as well, I know. The connections to the owners and everything was brilliant. It would only be the, the odd occasion when you'd be lucky enough to ride a big winner, you would get to go up on the podium and be interviewed by him. And I suppose himself and Ted are a partnership that uh, everybody is, you know, it's definitely synonymous with the sport. Many, many congratulations. What a race and what a horse. Yeah, uh, geez, he's tough out, Robert. You galvanise him here and he responds right away. And I mean, it's as if he's seen the leader in his sights and says, I'm going to get you. Yeah, he's about as clever a horse as you'll ever see. And he knew himself that when he was getting to the other fella, he was in with a chance and he loves winning. Ted and Robert Hall, they were the Oprah Winfrey's of Irish racing. He took his job very serious, probably a lot more serious than I do. And I used to put his leg in that time over something that wasn't really going to happen. Especially when I brought in that ass Ted, he'd think up a few hairy ones himself that had nothing to do with it. Questions that he'd want to ask, but fortunately I was able to give him some sort of an answer along the way. Jimmy Williams says, uh, what's your favourite emoji, Ted? Emoji. <laughs> I don't know what an emoji is. I drive a Toyota, I don't know what an emoji is. <laughs> This actually legendary concept, which is young jockey makes breakthrough at Galway races, they're as excited about passing the post in front as they are about being wheeled out to meet Robert Hall. And at that moment, you see, it's like the zenith point. They think, OK, actually, now it's game on. And what does a win like this mean to you? Oh, it's brilliant. It actually means a lot because I only crashed the car last week, so I need for something to pay for it. <laughs> He's able to be an expert opinion for everybody who knows anything about racing, and equally for the person sitting on the couch who hasn't the first clue, he's able to include them all. And I think that's a really underrated quality, uh, particularly in a broadcaster. That's it. We've won the Nations Cup. We've won the Aga Khan Trophy. That is absolutely fabulous. It's a fantastic position, isn't it? You know, I mean, we've taken all the pressure off ourselves. We can go to Athens in the right frame of mind. Wonderful double player from Billy as well. And uh, what more can you say? Many moons ago, Robert rode a horse in a charity race for my father in Pontchastown, the mare called Lady Midas. And I did lead him up. And I still think to this day he should have won on her. 
hold on now, hold on. Uh, Frank Berry's in front of me, but look who's behind. The likes of Tommy Carberry, John Joe, Arthur Moore, Oliver Sherwood. I have to say, I'd like to have ridden her a little bit more vigorously, but I thought I was Lester Pickett on the day. My memory today is wondering how everyone else got Tommy Carberry and Frank Berry and we got you. <laughs> Kevin Mayo says, are you and Robert friends or is it strictly professional? <laughs> Really and truly, we're lovers. <laughs> we're lovers. <laughs> there you are. You got it. I've been friendly with Robert. I think the first pony Robert ever had was a pony called Ruby that his father bought off of my father uh, for Robert and his sisters, and he called it Ruby. So it goes back, our relationship goes back that length of time. For the last year and a half to get to stand beside him and basically serve an apprenticeship beside the ultimate pro has been one of the greatest privileges of my life. Robert Hall... What a pair of hands to have on the reins over the years and through the ages. The respect that the sport has for that man, peerless. I admire your honesty. I love your bravery. You're a credit to your profession. You're an inspiration. Mark Enright is a heck of a guy. Thank you very much. This is a great knowledge, whether it be horse racing or show jumping or event running. Oh, it's a great man to watch on television and he'll be sadly missed. He will be missed because Robert is a racing fan and Robert's always stayed his best to promote the good of our sport. And I think every sport needs presenters like that. And I've worked with him for 30 years and uh, it was a pleasure. Uh, I'll be sorry that we're now working with him, but I'll still be friendly with him. We still have the cup of tea and the chat and everything else. So uh, other than working with him, not else will change. Sorry to see Robert going. Uh, so I wish him the best in your retirement, Robert. Well, they were the races here from Galway. But that's where we're going to have to leave you. From us here, Marty, bye-bye. Wonderful cheers here at Leverstown. <laughs> Emotional. Robert Hall, many congratulations. Brian, I, I cry, cry when, when I hear them. The shipping forecast, <laughs> and I, you know, this is this is staggering. I never, ever, ever expected anything like this. It's quite, it's quite remarkable. And golly, uh, thank you, everybody. Look at everybody here. Uh, I think it's fantastic. You I'm, mean I'm, so much to us. Well, Brian, it's it's it's. it's you mean so much to me too, all of you. Do you know, I've had a wonderful, wonderful time. Uh, Artie have been wonderful to me. I've been around the world, you know, Olympic Games and all these wonderful uh, racing opportunities and. Uh, I've had a wonderful team, and, and this rascal here has been a huge it's pal to me so as well. Yeah, uh, you're always asking me questions. Someone wrote here in your last head, ask Robert. I'm going to ask you a few questions. What's your most memorable day working with RTE? Uh, most memorable day? I should imagine, well, a day here in Denoli was absolutely wonderful. I love it when the crowds go mad, you know. Uh, Desert Orchid beat your horse in the, in the Irish National. That was a huge day as well. There have been wonderful, wonderful days, a lot of them now. And what's, another question here from Jill. What's changed most in the industry in the 37 years? Uh, what has changed most? Uh, fundamentally, racing hasn't changed an awful lot. You know, made the fastest horse get to the winning post. And, and, and uh, I, I think conditions are much better. The safety for jockeys has improved enormously, and that's big. Called Jan Ranging and he said, Is there any chance that Robert and Ted will do a double act and go on tour? Oh, yeah, why not? I'm up for it. One final question What was your favourite horse? Uh, favourite, favourite horse. Uh, oh, uh, Lady Midas, how about that? Ah, no, oh, come on, give us a real one. Um, fa favourite horse, Galileo was one. See the stars, see the stars was staggering. And I, uh, and just here at Leopardstown, you know, uh, when, it, when it was sort of gang warfare and he still came out on top, he was wonderful. Day, of course, your favourite day of racing? My favourite day uh, would have been, uh, why don't we go for Desert Orchid winning the Irish National, do you know? I'm afraid it wasn't your favourite day. <laughs> well done, yeah, well done. Lovely. Jane lovely. Mangan. What do you want to miss the most? I will miss, I'll miss the adrenaline rush hugely uh, when we go on air. Uh, I will miss the intimacy with the riders as well. Do you know, I'm still going to be around, but somehow with the programme, talking to them after the race, talking to them before, uh, you know, there were, there, there, there were sort of tough interviews, um, injuries. I, I, they are a wonderful, wonderful breed of person. Do you know, they're in it for passion as well. Passion is what you've got to have in racing. And, um, you know, if you don't have passion, you can't be a rider or a commentator or a trainer or anything, I don't believe. And these horses, you know, they bring tears to your eyes, don't they? Robert Hall, 
You're not finished yet. There's an awful lot of fire in Robert Hall's belly. Where do we go next? <laughs> Where do we go? Where yeah. do we go? Well, Robert Hall doesn't go far. Robert Hall will be... will 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 will, will be, be racing, racing regularly. We, he sure will. He sure will. As yeah. a steward? Uh, as a steward, as a steward, yeah. I'll do my days when I'm asked. Um, I'm sure he won't be. <laughs> <laughs> now then. Uh, no, it's it's been fantastic. And, and this will always be my life because this is what I've always loved and this is what I've always wanted to do as well. And it's really fitting that you mentioned Danoli on the final day in RT racing that a horse of the calibre of the class of the courage of Faheen at 12 years well, of age how, how could we have designed a day like this my final day Faheen 12 years old do you know I, 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 I had a lump in my throat when he came back in I saw everybody running off the, 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 the um, grandstand and, and that is what we want Brian do you know isn't it absolutely 37 years ladies and gentlemen here at Leopardstown watching on RT racing it's been a pleasure for me but you have to say Ted Wall and Robert Hall have been the equine racing double act throughout the world and it's only fitting that Brian Gleeson should give the last word at the Dublin Racing Festival to the maestro, Robert Hall. Well that is it and that is it and uh, I would like to say what a, what a huge pleasure and a privilege it has been and uh, I have followed my dream and if you admire bravery and brilliance and honesty, you know look no further than the thoroughbred and horsemanship at every level. People with love and passion. These are the people that ride them as well. And I have been in the privileged position to share uh, the last 37 years with these people around me. The RTE crew, the riders, thank you so much guys for coming out. And um, I think that might be a countdown. I can't hear anybody. We're going to have to say goodbye. But I hope you come to the races because that's where I will be as well. And I want to say thank you for everybody for looking in as well. Racing is a wonderful, wonderful sport. And this man here has been by my side for 37 years, Ted. And uh, we've had great times. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs>